All right, chicken adobo, Kelly. You can do it with pork, same thing. Brown yourself up some chicken and or pork. I guess you can make chicken and pork adobo at the same time. Brown it up a bit to start with. Then later we're going to add a, you know, a handful of black peppercorns, uh, garlic. I guess you can use fresh garlic. I just use garlic powder. Um, I like to use about an eighth of a cup of dark soy sauce uh, and an eighth of a cup or so of the regular light soy sauce. The dark soy sauce is more flavorful um, and less salty tasting there, Laura. Um, and then maybe about a quarter cup of some rice wine vinegar. So you brown yourself up some chicken or pork um, and throw some of these ingredients in and cover it, let it simmer for you know, an hour at least, um, the longer the better, but uh, this is how you uh, make chicken or pork adobo. I've made it with uh, rabbit, um, you know, caught chicken from my buddy's place, um, and quail also. You make it with, uh, I've made it with uh, wild hog also. Wild pork I've made it. Um, it's, uh, it's all good. Seems too good. I actually used the uh, pork shanks to some wild hog that I got a few years ago and made it at, uh, at deer camp that year. I just froze the shanks and when I was ready to use it, just uh, thawed them out and put the, did the same stuff, only uh, the pot was on the campfire. Let it simmer for a little bit and make some rice, throw the, the chicken or pork over the rice along with some of that so sauce. And man, really good eating. Uh, anyway, so you go ahead and brown up some of this chicken to start, and then we'll throw these ingredients in. All right, here we go. We've uh, browned up some chicken here. Let's turn this down lower to about a two. I usually don't measure this stuff. I always guesstimate. Um, I'm not going to measure the garlic powder or the uh, black peppercorns, but throw some garlic in there or garlic powder, whatever you feel like. If you want fresh stuff, go for it. And I said about a, a quarter cup of soy sauce. I use about an eighth of a cup of the dark stuff. An eighth of a cup of the light stuff. The light stuff just a little less salty, I guess. Um, throw about a quarter cup of rice wine vinegar in there. And then some black peppercorns. I put about a cap full, I guess, black peppercorns. Throw those guys in there. Let's see, what's left? Oh, cover. Let simmer for a few hours. You're good to go. Um, I have here tell that you're not supposed to stir the adobo. I don't know why. It makes it tough, whatever. But that's what some of my friends in the Bay Area in San Francisco have said. Don't stir the adobo. But I'm sorry, I stir it. I go and I put these, these pieces of chicken that are on top down into the bottom into that sauce after the, uh, the sauce is uh, cooked into some of those pieces in the bottom. Um, you use legs or thighs for this. I've never used breasts. Um, it might work out okay as long as you probably leave the skin on. Um, and it just, it just cooks up nice and tender. Uh, I go and I... I, I I skim off the fat on the top of all the water, the juices from the chicken and the soy sauce and vinegar that's on the bottom. I skim off the fat off the top of that um, and you know get rid of that just just to make it a little little more healthy, less 
unhealthy with all the chicken fat and whatnot. But uh, legs and thighs um, work work best. Uh, I know I'm gonna try some chicken breasts one day to try this out and see how it works, but uh, I've always used legs and thighs, so it's some of the fattier cuts of chicken. And of course the pork. Uh, shoulders, I'll go to Safeway, Tom Thumb here in Texas is what it's called. Um, Safeway and I'll get the, what they call country cut uh, style pork chops, which are just the ends of the shoulder blade and, or whatnot. Um, ends of the pork chops that don't quite make it into the pork chop shapes. They're a value pack. I just hack them up with a cleaver to get them into the pot. Brown those and add the same thing. Quarter cup of uh, uh, soy sauce, a uh, quarter cup of rice wine vinegar, garlic powder, and peppercorns. And that's it. Uh, throw that stuff over rice. Very good. All right, our chicken adobo has been going for about an hour now. I've already stirred it just a little while ago. Before when I added the soy sauce and the vinegar, you could barely see that liquid on the bottom. Now, as you can probably see, there's a lot of moisture in there and that's all juice from the chicken itself. Uh, a lot of moisture has come out. Uh, you can see by me stirring it, some of the, the, the meat's already falling off the bone. And uh, give it two hours or so for best results. Uh, all the flavor should be cooked into the chicken and take some of that sauce if there's a lot of fat, which I don't see a whole lot. If there's a lot of fat, just strain that off the top. Throw the chicken meat and some of the sauce over rice and it's really good stuff.